I filled my couch up with lots of fun, amazing treasures. Stay tuned to see everything I got from the Goodwill bins. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's video when you seen I went to the Goodwill bins. I ended up going in twice. Actually, when I checked out the first time, I spent a total of $31, I think. And then I went back in and I spent three more dollars when I was, I checked out and took my stuff to the Jeep and was going back in and they were bringing out new bins. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna stay for a minute. So I ended up spending three more dollars. So I spent a total of $34 at the Goodwill bins. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got right now. I think I did pretty good. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think, but I think I did pretty good. So let's get into the haul. Okay, so this was one of the first things that I picked up. I picked up this cute, cute, cute little kitty planter. It is stamped um, Germany on the bottom. It's in really good condition. There's no chips or cracks. And I thought that was a nice piece. I found a lot of things out of the glass bins and I wasn't able to record when I was at the glass bins. It's so hard, you guys, to um, record and dig at the same time when you're doing it with your phone because I don't have both hands because I obviously have to hold my phone and record. Um, and yes, I know I, I do have a GoPro, but I just would rather use my phone. Um, I just feel more comfortable doing it that way. But anyway, here's another thing I got out of the glass bins. I just thought it was a cute little, um, sock monkey mug. I don't know how old it is, but it's in good condition. There's no chips or cracks and it's stinking cute. So I picked that up. And then I picked up this, um, little trinket dish type pottery piece. It's La Rosa. It's really neat. It's etched. There's no chips or cracks. And it is signed on the back right there. It is signed. So I thought that was a really nice piece to pick up. And I found this. This is really, really fun. It's wood. It's a pencil sharpener. And here you open up the bottom and that's where the sharpenings come out. You can see the sharpener mechanism inside that hole. And it is from Japan. It has its original sticker from Japan. It's a counterpoint pencil sharpener made in Japan. Cute, really neat and unique. I like to pick up weird things that I don't really see very often. And that I don't see ever or that I've never seen before. And that's one of them. And then here's another one. I love this piece. I think it's so stinking cute and adorable. Now, it does have some chew marks on its feet. Um, I don't know if that's from a dog or a kid, <laughs> to be honest. But it's so cute. And it still works, you guys. It still works. I love you, little buddy. I love you, little buddy. It says different things. I love you, little buddy. Okay, well, he's saying that over and over and over. But it does say different things. I love you, little buddy. I don't know why it keeps saying that, but it, I promise it does because it said other things. I thought I saw Pretty Cat and then another one. But it is from 1976, I believe. I think that's what that says. It says 1976 on the body, but then on the hood part right here, it says 
Warner Brothers, 1979. So I'm gonna go with 1970s. I love your window covers. Okay, I don't know why it's not saying anything different. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I give up. You, I hope you heard what Say the Putty Cat one because it did. But anyways, I love that toy. I thought it was awesome. I was a huge fan of Tweety Bird growing up and it's from the 70s and it's cool, so. And then, then I picked up this. Now, I have sold these before, these little shelf sitter type guy things, but they were ceramic. I have never seen a plastic one. It's so cute with his googly eyes, and it is marked 1997, I think. it's. I believe it says 1997 Zeke, Inc. Z-E-K-E. -E. I don't know, but it's cute, and I love it. And then I picked up this. Now, um, I'm probably going to keep this for myself because I just, I don't really decorate a lot for Christmas, but this piece is cute. It is missing some things right there on the corner, as you can see. So that's probably why I'll, I'll just keep it for myself. I picked it up for myself anyway. It's an ornament, but it's huge. It's like way big and it's glass. It is glass. It's so pretty. I, I just liked it. I don't know the maker. It doesn't have any stickers or anything, but I love gingerbread houses. So I'll probably keep that for myself for next year. Now, I did pick up some vintage Christmas stuff for resale, but since Christmas is over, I think I what I'm going to do is put it back for next year. Um, unless somebody shoots, unless they, somebody really, really wants it and they shoot me a good offer for it. Um, otherwise I'm going to put it back for next year because it just seems things seem to do better around Christmas time, Christmas stuff. But then I, you know, I picked up this again. I might put this back for next year. I know these target birds sell pretty well. If you are interested, you know, you can always send me an email. My email is junk to be loved at gmail.com. But it's so cute. So cute. Target bird. And this one is actually an older one from 2019. And it's Deckard. Deckard 2019. And that's one I didn't have. I had a bunch of target birds that I sold in a couple sales back. And that I didn't have that one. So that's pretty cool. And then I picked up this Roly Poly. He is the first years. And then it's MCML. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I can't read it because it's I don't have my or I have my contacts in and I need my magnifying glass, but I would say it's probably from the 70s. It's really, really cute. And it's a roly poly. And look at his face. He does have a little scuff marks. He needs a Mr. Clean eraser taken to him. But he's so cute and whimsical and I like him. And then Greg found these and gave them to me. These I will probably keep. Um, they're brand new. I'm going to throw them in the wash and then keep them. But they're Mona Lisa socks. I like them. I like those, so I may keep those, or I may put them in a live sale, who knows with me. You never know. And then, I picked up two, where did the other one go? Okay, I picked up two of these. They're from the 80s. I think 1984 maybe. They're the little My Little Pony Sea Horses or Sea Ponies. So cute. They sell pretty well on eBay. I'll put comps up here. But most everything that you see me pick up is going to be available in my live sale tonight here on my YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Central Time in just a little bit, actually. So I'm a little behind getting this video out. 
Then I picked up this vintage fabric from 1979. It is still wrapped in its original wrapper from the store and it is dated right there, 1979. So I thought that was awesome, how it's still wrapped up. And I like the vintage fabric, so that's pretty cool. And I picked up two things of vintage postcards. I haven't even went through these yet, but somebody had them for sale. This bag they had for $6, and this bag they had for $10. Um, I'm going to put them in a live sale tonight and just sell them together. Not for $10, probably. I'm not going to start them out for that. But there's so many cool ones in here. And they're written on. So I think that would be so neat to read the, read what's going on from people's lives. Let me see what these, if they're dated. Any of these. I don't know, but the stamps are only like eight cents and three cents and five cents. Nineteen nineteen, I don't know. They're all different. 1948, 1974, 1973. They're all different. So I thought that was cool. And then there's a whole nother bag of them as well. So I'll probably just sell both bags together. And like I said, I think that would be really neat going through and reading what they say. These ones are, well, I don't know about all of them. I'll have to open that one up and go through it later. But yeah, two bags of vintage postcards. And I found this giant bag. So I thought it would be fun to just fill it with random things and sell a goodie bag. Um at my live sale, like a treasure bag. So I'll just show you the things that are in there really quickly. There's a doll. There's another doll. There's a little metal birdhouse. It is signed. I thought that was cute. Um, a little, which I need to get that sticker off there, but this would be fun to for Valentine's Day to make a simulage with. There's two pairs of really, really fun vintage glasses. They're huge and thick. <laughs> um, there's a horseshoe, a metal horseshoe in there. There's beads, peace sign beads. Another little doll. There we go. Wooden little mini Dutch shoes. A metal thingy. A metal decorative spoon. Some Pac-Man cards. A Western boot salt and pepper shaker still in the box. There's a metal, old metal truck. A single fish shaker, but I just like the colors in the pottery. An evil Knievel little toy. Look, the guy's still in there. How cool. It's not all there, of course, but it's still cool. Um, some really fun beaded heart. Uh, garland with a bell. 
like all these are glass beads on there in between. They're all glass beads, so I thought that was fun. This little metal What is it, like an egg separator thing, maybe? A Halloween pin. Some strawberry earrings. A really cool Lifesavers candle. I thought that was cool. A little glasses keychain type thing. And that's it. So I just thought that would be fun, you know, like a fun treasure bag or something. All to sell. You know, I just thought that would be a fun idea. And I see all this fun little things, you know, all the time. That doesn't really sell for a lot of money by itself. But if you make a treasure bag and lot things together. I mean, I think that's so much fun. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a fun idea to do a treasure bag maybe? I don't know. And then I picked up this. Now this is so cool. This is a little sentimental to me, but I am going to sell it because I don't have a place for it. But these are the mushrooms that me and Luke go hunting for in the woods in the springtime. Um, they are morale mushrooms. So fun. Awesome. This is like a wood hook little wall hanging. And I thought that was really cool. I like mushrooms. And then I picked up these. Now these are pretty cool. They're different and weird. They are the ceramic heads. This one is 1982 Faith Wick. Sealy Ceramic Service. Now he sells for about $25, $35. I'll put comps up here so you can see, but by himself. Or that's what he was listed for. I guess I just looked him up really quickly. I'm gonna pair them together. Now this one is marked Bell Ceramics NC 1988. And then it's got the mold number on there. So. I'm going to probably lot these two together tonight in a live sale. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up two ceramic mushrooms. I just thought they were cute. I don't think they're anything special, but they're cute. And again, I like mushrooms, so I thought, why not? I think other people might like mushrooms too. And then I picked up a cute cracked egg planter. This one is actually beautiful, beautiful. Look at all the nice detail and design. It's all painted. You can feel it. Well, some of it. Some of it's transferred on there, I believe, and then some of it's hand-painted. There is one tiny, tiny little chippy somewhere right there on the inside rim. It's hardly even noticeable. See, it's really hard to see, but it's so cute. And it has its original sticker. It is Ardco, made in Japan, and it is numbered. So I thought this was a cool, cool, nice piece. And then I picked up this awesome wood carved hillbilly man or some kind of man. I don't know. I appreciate all the work that went into carving him. He is such a cool, cool piece. He doesn't, he is wood, but he doesn't weigh very much. He's like a lightweight wood. And it's got a really, lot of really nice detail. It's in really good condition. You can see the knots still in the wood, which I thought was really neat. And yeah, he's not signed or anything, but a really cool piece of art right here. <laughs> Then I thought this piece was really cool. So in the glass bins, after everybody had looked in them, I went back to see if I had missed anything. And I seen this at the bottom of one of the totes. Um, it had stuff on, on top of it and around it. 
I just seen the striped box and I'm like, huh, I wonder what's in that. So I dug it out and I was like, cool. When I opened it up, it's a doll and it still has its original paperwork. Oops. See, it's a flag flexible play doll. Isn't that cool? With the doll. It's a ballerina. And the box is its original box. I need to... Somebody needs to get a heat gun or a blow dryer and try to get that sticker off without ripping the box. But it is its original box because it says ballerina. So I just thought that was super, super cool. And a really neat piece to find in the bins. And then my friend Nancy, my moderator, was up there as well. I seen her up there and she found this and gave this to me. Now this is pretty cool. It is a paper mache doll, like an acrobatic doll. Um, she sent me a comp and I was like, whoa, but there, anybody can list anything for what they want to on eBay, but so I did a little bit more research. They're still worth about 25 to $45. Um, she is super cool, really, really good condition, nice detail, she has her earrings. I mean, she has a little bit of wear, but she's old. She's an older doll. I thought she is cool. She does have a little, right there, a little hole in her paper mache, the inside of her leg, but I, I thought she was neat. I thought it was super cool. And then, no, I still haven't done any research about these yet. I don't know what they are. It's a whole bag of little rubber things. They are stamped on the bottom, moose. They are stamped moose. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, if it's gonna come in, but all of them are stamped the same and there's a bunch of little rubber characters. So I'm gonna have to look these little little things up. They have holes in the bottom. Like, do they go on pencils? I don't know. There's a whole bag. If you guys let know, let me know in the comments below. And then I thought this piece was super, super, super cute. It's still got some of its sticker residue. Let me take it off. I absolutely love it because this is totally me, 70s. It is a vintage stained glass, I believe it's glass, not plastic. Um, Volkswagen Bug, how fun, love it. I love that piece so much. I just thought that was so cool. Not broken or nothing. And then I was able to find some scarves. I love picking these up because they do not weigh anything. A lot of these are vintage and fun with fun designs. And I like to stick these in a linen bag and just sell a whole bag of linens, which I'm going to do tonight in my live sale. So these will be in there. And then I found this guy. Now he's fun. He is fun and different. He is a puppet. You can see like his fur. He is a little bit older and the way his clothes are. And he's just weird and neat and his head turns. See, he has a wooden handle right here. So I don't really know how old he is. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. His face is the plastic. But his clothes and his fabric look older to me. So I don't know. I have no idea. I just thought he was so cool. He is a hand puppet. You move him. And turn him. He's cool <laughs> and weird and different. I thought he was fun. 
And then I was able to find some cutie babies. I love picking these up. They're so stinking cute and adorable. This one's a hard plastic one. So this one's laying down. These ones are a little bit bigger too. This little one. Well, they're not little, they're bigger than the normal ones that I find. This one. And then this big one. Now this is a bigger one. Oh, so cute and adorable. Absolutely love it. So I just look at those eyelashes. I mean, come on. <laughs> then I was able to find, like I said, some vintage Christmas, but these I'm gonna be putting back for next year. They are so cute. It is a pair of vintage Santa candle holders. As you can see, this one is missing some of its cold paint. I know some um, people are able to repair and fix the cold paint, so that's really not an issue. And there's no chips or cracks. They're so cute and adorable. Absolutely love them. And I thought they were fun. So, I'm going to sit those over there. Oh. And... I think we're almost done with the first sack. Oh, and then I found this. I love this piece. It's a seal. Can you see how its face is painted? It's so cool, right? really really neat and it is signed on the bottom it says mount valley originals alaska native something i don't know but it's beautiful piece i love it i think it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous and fun so i picked that up and that was all in that sack. And then I found this awesome metal elephant. Isn't that neat? It's all like etched or carved or, you know, cut in there. It's really, really neat. It is metal. It is a metal elephant. I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's a fun piece. Then this is a really neat and unique piece. It is a piece of art, another piece of art that somebody has made. I don't know what type of fabric that is. Can you see? I don't know, I have no idea. But it's like two ladies out, best friend shopping. I love the style of it. And what's neat about this piece, you guys, it is, it, it's signed by the artist right there. It is signed. So that is super, super cool. That'd be awesome framed. It looks like there's a stain right there, but I promise you it's not. See, it's just the light shining through. <laughs> it's in really good condition. I thought it was cool. Then... I picked up, now I believe this is Joey. After doing a little bit of research, um, this is a Fisher Price Toys um, Lap Sitter Joey doll. So cute, I love it. Um, I think he's from the 70s. His tag doesn't say a date, he does have his original tag. He does have a little bit of spots on him, he could use a little cleaning up, but. He's in pretty good condition overall. Good shape. And fun. Now again, these are things that I'm going to put back for next year unless you send me a really good offer. Um, I'm going to put them back for next year. I was able to find three vintage knee hugger pixie elves from Japan. This one still has its original Japan sticker right there on his behind. So stinking cute and adorable. 
I love these felt knee hugger pixies with the plastic faces. This one's a bigger guy. He is in Argo, Japan, which is weird because usually they make ceramic pieces, but not this time. They made a felt knee, knee hugger elf. And then this guy doesn't have his sticker anymore, but again, you can tell he's vintage. So I was not gonna leave these babies behind. No way, Jose. And then I found this. Now, sh I've never seen a troll like this before. So I'm like, is it newer? Hmm. And then I picked it up and I flipped it over on the bottom and it's from 1992. It's from 1992 and I do not remember these. I have no idea why I don't remember these, but do you guys remember these trolls? 1992 applause. Hmm. So I picked it up. <laughs> then I found this cute, cute little metal enamel hummingbird. You can see it's like enameled in there and it has a metal beak and metal wings and it's some sort of hook or something. I don't know. This was the only one I was able to find. So if you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments below, but I just thought it was really, really pretty piece with it being metal and enameled like that. And I love the beautiful colors. It's gorgeous. So I thought it was fun. I did, oh, I did pick up more little things to stick in that um, bag, that goodie bag that I'm gonna sell tonight. This California raisin, um, still in his package. I don't know what that says, but there's a little tag in there. And then this. This piece is so awesome. It's a bottle opener from Hawaii. It's got a lady in a bathing suit. So I just thought that was a cool, neat piece. So I, don't, I think I might sell this separately maybe. I don't think I'm gonna stick that in the bag. And then I did find a little hula Hawaiian girl. I found a, a lot of little dolls. So though that little girl, these two little vintage, look, he's wearing little bell-bottom pants. They're little rubber, little rubber dolls. This little like oriental gal looking and her eyes open and close. This little gal. I don't know if she's the daughter. I think actually that's what it looks like. These are family is what it looks like to me. And they feel the same too. So I'm assuming this is mom, dad, and daughter. So that is pretty cool. And then this little tiny baby, look at its face. It's a little plastic baby. I thought that was cute. And then I picked up this bag of Disney figurines. There's all kinds of different ones in here. Mickey, you know, the little plastic figurines. I believe they're from the 90s, I would say. All kinds of just different ones. So there's Goofy and Donald Duck. So I thought that was a fun little bag. Like I said, you know, I only spent um, $34 on all this stuff, so I don't think I did too bad. I picked up these. These are going in, um, I will show you. Where did it go? In this. Okay, so, and actually I was going to dump them in there before I did it. So I have a jar, which I might include the jar too, which I 
well, I am going to include the jar in it, but I'm not going to put the stuff in the jar. I'm just going to sell the contents by itself. Oh, come on. Okay, so I was, I picked, I found and I dug in the bins. Oh, i to mix it all together here. This whole fun bag of junk jar pieces. Now I'm going to show you some of the things that's in here. Just, they're so cute. Look at this. It's like a felt bunny head. Oops, got a string on it. It's like a felt bunny head. There's like a magnet, a Halloween magnet, monkey, a little guy. There's jewels. There's a bouncy ball. There's angel wings. There's a dog. Um, all kinds of just fun weird random pieces game pieces marbles um it's a, a nice size bag full of junk jar pieces oh there's like a lisa simpson in there um i think there's some keys maybe i don't know all kinds of fun fun things so that will be for sale tonight too Oh, when I went back in, I was able to find more scarves. So those will be, again, included in the linen. The linen um, bag. I found this new box of Insta Mini. Now, a couple weeks ago, I found a camera, an Insta Mini camera in the bins. And then I found the brand new film. So I'm going to put them together and put probably put them online. I haven't really been selling a lot of things online. Um, recently, I haven't listed things online. I've just been doing my live sales, but I, that might be something I do online. And then I found another cute doll. So cute and adorable. I love these. She kind of looks like a Monchichi. So cute. I had one with green hair just a couple weeks ago. I sold in a live sale. Then I picked up this awesome, fun um, elephant pitcher. Now this is a like a blow mold. It's Union Products 1996. It is marked on the bottom. It's from 1996, really good condition. And I thought that was a fun piece. And believe it or not, they do sell. They do sell on eBay. And then I thought this was fun. This Lucite Trivet. It says Iowa. So this actually might go into the grab bag. I might go ahead and put that in the grab bag as well. I'll have to see how much that grab bag weighs. I don't know. You guys can tell me tonight at the sale if you think that's a good idea or not. Then I thought this was fun. Me and Luke really like this movie, Gremlins. And it is the book with the record. And it's in really, really good condition. So that is very nostalgic and so much fun, right? <laughs> I did pick up a couple vintage Christmas books. Again, will be put back for next year. No barcode, so you know it's an older one. And then that one. And then these will be put back for next year. And I didn't even notice. Sometimes I'm a dumb dumb and I don't even notice things. So I'll probably just stick these in a grab bag. Um, with different vintage Christmas stuff in them, but they are missing their antlers, unfortunately. They're old. They're old, old plastic reindeer. So, I thought they were neat. This Santa. I thought he was neat. He's got like a cardboard. He's made out of cardboard and 
felt and I just thought he was pretty cool. This little angel girl with her wings and she's all spaghettied. She's so cute. So, so cute. Absolutely love her. This Christmas ribbon, can, Christmas tree ribbon candle, ribbon can, <clears throat> or a real, ribbon candle Christmas tree. There you go. And it has its original sticker on the bottom. It is a little bit vintage. It is Jasco. So fun. And then I think the last Christmas thing that I picked up was this new old stock Garfield Christmas balloons. I would think these are probably from the 90s, I would say. Um, I couldn't find a date on there. It's Pioneer Balloon Company. Oh, wait. 19, oh, phew, I was completely wrong. 1978. 1978. I had no idea. Christmas balloons. When you open up the package, because this part opens up, there's a comic inside. The balloons are in this part. You got to open it up. They've never been opened before. They're still in there. So I don't know what the balloons look like, but it does say 12 large printed balloons. Cool. I like finding new old stock. Then I found a glass beaded necklace with the bracelet. It's so pretty. These are all glass beads. They're clear and pink with a matching bracelet. So I just thought that was a really fun set. Actually, that set probably is gonna go in the goodie bag as well. <laughs> I just keep adding to it. Then I thought these were really fun and retro. I love the colors, the orange and green, and they are just a lot of fun little hot pad cloth thingies. And they will go in they will go in the linen thing along with this. This will also go in the linen thing. I don't know what this is. Is it for a baby? What's it for? It has a little tie right here. Um, but it's some sort of beautiful, fun rag maybe, but it's all lined. I love the flowers. It's vintage and it's so cool. <laughs> so I picked that up. Then this is gonna go in the goodie bag as well. I love this. It's the Fabulous Fox Theater 2014-2015 Broadway season. It's got like all the different shows on there. Dirty Dancing, Annie, A Christmas Carol, Stomp, um, The Rat Pack, A Christmas Story, Cinderella, you know, so on and so forth. So I thought that was a cool, fun piece to add to the mystery bag. Oh, I do have a couple more things. I see at the bottom of the bag. This little cute little miniature Napco um, Santa mug. I thought that was cute. Again, putting it back for next year. And then the last thing I'm going to add to that goodie bag was this um, little clock. It's really cute. Obviously, it's not all intact. I would say this is probably from Hong Kong. I couldn't find no markings on it, but... And it's missing a piece right there. I didn't even notice until I got it home. So, I mean, you could figure out something right there. But isn't that so cute? So cute. And it's just going to go into the bag. The mystery bag. Or the goodie bag. It's not really a mystery because I'm going to show you everything tonight. Which I already showed you now. But I'll show everything again. But that is a fun bag. Or should I split it in two? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. But that was it, guys. That is my haul. That is everything that I got. Oh, no, it ain't. Duh. One last thing. A Shirley Temple doll. 
I got a Shirley Temple doll. Now somebody had this at the Brass Armadillo, but the price, I just now see the, but the price is ripped off. I don't know how much they were asking for it. But it is in two pieces, obviously, but it is stamped on the back right there, Shirley Temple. So this will also be for sale in tonight's live sale. So yeah, that is it guys, that is my haul. Um, like I said, only spent $34 on all that stuff. It was a long video, I know I apologize. But comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. I can't pick because I got a lot of fun things. Well, actually I can, probably the Knee Hugger Pixies because I love Pixies. But um, as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well too. Um, I also, like I said, list every once in a while on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And those links will also be in the description below as well. But a lot of the things that you see me pick up, most everything will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that bell button and go subscribe. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video because every once in a while I'll feel random and have a pop-up live sale throughout the week. And you don't want to miss those because they are a lot of fun. But like I said, I am having a live sale tonight, so make sure you join me here in a little bit right here on my YouTube channel, 6 p.m. Central Time for a fun vintage live sale. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.